Mr. Slowly with the 52 knocks. Thank you for donating, Mr. Slowly. As we begin part four of the Australian Australian Mega Stream. Welcome, Australians. Welcome, Australians, to the channel. Thank you, Mr. Slowly, for supporting us, man. <laughs> Appreciate that. Sim racing system in now. Dedication to the rig. 52 knocks. I like a bit of knock. Norwegian Corona, I believe. You can still watch in America for sure. <laughs> it's probably getting late for the Americans. Oh dear. Woo. I need to think about these golden gay times and then we'll then we're good. Focus on the golden gay time, everybody. Might need another banana in a minute. Do you remember Banana Man? <laughs> I'm turning into. You're going to have to do another one of these when I get my PC. <laughs> what? Oh, I will try. I'm going to have to do one for Japan or something. We'll see. If not, I'll just make a really good review video for you. Just for Australians. Don't be that guy. Which guy? I think it is redacted. Uh, New Zealand, Japan. That's all right, Air Blizzard. Everyone's welcome. Everybody's welcome to come come aboard the uh, Game of Muscle stream. Even though it's the Hello Australian stream. A oh, banana boy. Even though it's the Australian stream, you know, everyone's invited to the party in Australia. I think Japan's like an hour in front, isn't it? Oh dear, we've got the yawns on. It's only 10 in the morning. We've got a long way to go. I like the floor texture on the on the pit lanes here, like sort of a gravelly stone, flattened. It looks really, really quite nice. Well, I definitely have to go to Japan at some point before I die. It'd be really nice to as I say to get a bike, cycle the length of Japan, not get hopefully not get run over on the roads. But they um, they seem to not mind people camping, from what I've read. Um, it seems to be a relatively normal thing to uh, just sort of camp in various like not not even campsites as long as you're clean and don't make a mess. It's kind of like that in the UK actually for a lot of it, but um, people don't really do it. In China, everyone would think you're mental. <laughs> Uh, this is a uh, Weezu one. Oh dear, it's hitting me now. I've been slapped in the face with the tiredness. Whew. Qualifying, here we go. Hey Hank Bizzle, indeed we are. In in Hizzle, shizzle my bizzle. Shizzle my dizzle bizzle, we are still going. We're committed now. SB, we are indeed in the Simitech K2 cockpit, and I'd, I'd definitely still recommend it. It's still my favourite, best value for money cockpit on the market. Absolutely fantastic piece of kit. I still don't think anyone's produced a rig that's. Uh, there's better rigs out there, but not for the not for the uh, not for the cost. Price for value for money, best sim rig on the market. You do have to put your own chair on it. it doesn't come with a chair, but. 
even with that in mind, you can get a second-hand chair from a scrapyard and you, you've got a rig that absolutely smashes anything within another hundred pounds, really. Sleeper muscle, probably. I'd never managed to be one of those... Uh, you get those jog... Those people that do long-distance jogging and they jog through, like... They do those ultra marathons, and they basically sort of jog, walk, and they go for like four days without sleeping. Uh, we might, we'll probably do the next race, Weezu. Can join that. Oh, the force feedback in AC just feels so much better than I racing. Not uh Oh, sh bugger. Oh no, I did change it. Whoops. <laughs> Just uh, I thought I forgot. I thought I forgot to change something, but I didn't. So let's restart that. Sorry for the guy who's uh, who I just murdered there. Hey <laughs> James Andrew, I don't know about thirteen hours. I think. That was, a, that was a bit of a death move there. I, the grass looks quite nice on this circuit. You know, a highly important aspect of a driving simulator. We'll, we'll try and do the next one uh, by a bit. Oh, I need a banana. Don't we all need a banana in a golden gay time? Do you know what would be really cool? You've got the, the cranes on this circuit for lifting the cars off when they crash. If we had a driving simulator that did the whole thing, so like, say a car crashes, and then you have like a, like the, you have people run on the track and pick debris off the track, or like the, and the crew, picks up a car maybe even even if it was only for single player and it was all just scripted as part of the single player as a part of a race for a single player thing that would be amazing it'd be super i mean it'd be a lot of work for the developer and probably totally not worth it but it would it would look cool <laughs> and what's more important the driving or something looking cool any tips for the force feedback g920 not really just make sure it's not clipping I do. I quite like the exaggerated understeer effect with the G25. It's a little bit random how it works, but I quite like that. You should go to sleep. I'm all right. Don't worry. Do not worry. We have stayed up in the past for many days, and everything is fine. <laughs> Seizure, engage. we're good I've stayed up for four days before that wasn't good uh, James Andrew Emily Jones has come on multiple times Emily Jones might be watching now Emily Jones purveyor and master of traffic cones are you still watching probably not but she, she's come in said hello she doesn't play project cars too so we didn't get to race her I think GP4 had a lot of stuff I don't, I don't think it had people come on the track I really liked uh, Richard Burns' rally. That that has uh, Marshalls coming to the track. We should totally do some RBR. That'll, that'll spice us up a bit. Yeah, well, Richard Burns' rally did it. So did... Uh, there was another rally game. Was it like WRC something or other? One of the really old ones. Uh, Sega Rally had animated spectators, but they got out of the way. Richard Burns' rally had suicidal photographers, which was quite cool. Really like Richard Burns Rally. RBR is still one of my favourite driving sims, you know. It's such a shame that they didn't sell that many copies of it. Your Gran Turismo, yeah. Was it Gran Turismo 2 had on the rally stage or the people next to track? Which was super effective. Having lots of animation and movement at the side of the circuit, it, 
it helps sell the believability of the, the circuit, might you? What's, what's funny is when G Gran Turismo first came out, I, I was playing. I wasn't really playing driving games at that point in time. But I always used to think of it as like a super serious simulator. And because it was on like two discs on the PlayStation 2, I was like, oh, you know, this is really serious. It's really, it's too complicated for me. <laughs> so funny to think. So funny. Didn't know anything about it. Now we know too much about it. Not saying that it was bad at the time. I think it probably probably was well ahead. Well, it was well ahead of its. It, it was well ahead of its uh, like in its genre at the time. But uh, I, I was always on PC with like the, the original Toka games and what have you. I think that was even after GT though, GT two. They had a disc on the PlayStation two one where you could scratch it and it smelled of. Uh, car tyre, I remember that. Someone was there, I was talking to someone about that a while back and they didn't believe me and I was like, no, I'm 100% sure that uh, the second disc, you could scratch the surface of it or rub it and it smelled of car tyre. That's how you knew it was a real pro sim. Name, name another game that smelled of car tyre. Oh, did it smell of oil? I don't know, it smelled of something. I thought it was car tyre. Smell <laughs> didn't smell nice. Yeah, Dirt 4 is a bit crappy though, to be honest. Dirt Rally is so much better than Dirt 4. Hey, BRT! Crazy man. There's people that work on oil rigs, you know, for like two days at a time with no brake. I'm just sat in a sim rig driving cars badly. At least I can't accidentally kill someone. Or can I? The oil, well, yeah, yeah, Morphe. That's all right. Thanks for thanks for reminding me that. You know, all right. That's a bit of a subtle burn there. I'm gonna have to go to hospital after that. I don't need millions to be happy though. I I'll be happy making a moderate, a basic income, enough to pay uh, a pension, enough to. Enough to live comfortably. Enough to go on holiday every now and again. Enough to play computer games and get paid for it. I'm happy with that. It's all good. It's all right, Morphe. You're forgiven. You're forgiven by Jesus, of all people. <laughs> Holy Jesus of seven. Uh, no, this is this is the uh, Seat uh, STC, is it called? I don't know. Uh, it's possible because I mean, in many ways, although sim racing system is not as good as i racing ranking and what have you, and the competition is not the same, it does come relatively close at times, at peak times in Europe. But um, yeah, I, 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 I'm not sure if ACC will be anywhere near as popular as i racing. But I think it can still do quite well, and I think it can still scratch that itch. But obviously, it's going to be with GT3 cars initially, at least. So, but yeah, I, I'm I'm really excited for ACC. I'm more excited just to see what these driving sims in Unreal Engine end up being like, and what future VR supports like. No one cares. Hey, drone heads. No one cares about Jesus. I've got I've got Dirt 4. I played it. It's, see, it's all right. It can be reasonably fun to play. It's just not worth its full price, and it gets repetitive very quickly. Whereas, it, and it just doesn't have the character 
and immersion that Dirt Rally has. When you play Dirt Rally, you're like, oh, I feel like I'm at a rally stage and, and it, it gets really intense and it's super involving. Same with Richard Burns Rally. You play Dirt 4, it just feels super, super bland. It just feels like it. It's like, uh, uh, no, no, Dirt 4. Whereas Dirt Rally's like, Dirt Rally! Richard Burns is like, Richard Burns! Dirt 4. That's basically how uh, I summarise it. Still worth trying. The um, dirt fish stuff you can do in it, it's not too bad as well. I think ACC is having an early access in about three months time, two, two or three months time. They're going to be showing it off at the uh, Italian B, uh, Blanc Pain, what's it called, event. So, uh, and I think they'll do a public release after that, uh, uh, early access. I hated Dirt and Dirt Rally. I am Jesus, Dronehead, yes. Jesus of Simrig. There was Jesus of Nazareth 2,000 years ago. I'm Jesus of Simrig. And lo, he rose. With his subscribers, slowly but surely, he rose from the dead. With his titwinkles and slow driving. But the world knew, for it was Jesus of Simrig. That's it, June. SRR Krieg. Scorpio, hello. How can you hate Dirt Rally and think GT3 is boring? Uh, Jimmy's, Jimmy's Moses. I'm Jesus. Jimmy is Moses. You know, Jimmy sometimes gets ahead of himself and thinks he's Jesus, but he's not. He's Moses. How many laps? I've probably had enough fuel already, but we'll, we'll stick. We'll put 12 laps of fuel in. That's more than enough. Don't even need like 10 laps. Well, we'll do that. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. Is this some kind of a no, no charity? Unless it's uh, the Game of Muscle bank account. I appreciate all donations. <laughs> no charity streaming. We're just We're just appeasing the Australians. You know, they miss out on it, so I've got to make up for it. This is the Australian stream of the decade. Here we go, guys. Seat TCR. We're driving the game of muscle car. We've qualified in, like, God knows where, 17th. Go, go, go. Nice that the, uh, this is filled up on sim racing system. Got to be careful. Come on, guys. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 23 cars. Oh, bloody hell. I've got to move to the side here. Car on my right didn't really know that I was there. Got a break. Got a good pace for that, considering we're about to break a bit. This is Sim Racer System Scorpio, yeah. Fixed setup with this car. I think GT3, in terms of dri on a driving simulator, they're not the most exciting. Oh, sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Pushing a bit hard there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Coming through with my terrible driving. Uh, yeah, with any car, in reality, the sound of them really makes up for the, the lack of raw pace but in driving simulators I can technically see why people wouldn't like GT3 cars in a sim I, mean, I don't mind them myself I, I just like close racing I think that 100% made it through T1 yeah it was a as I said I'm I'm Jesus of Simring and we made it be so it was told in the bible Please help, Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. <laughs> Please help the GM International Love Fund. Thank you, Chris Rudder. <laughs> oh, appreciate the donation, man. Oh, is it Chris Rudder? Merci beaucoup. Merci pour votre donation. Vous êtes très gentil. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you.
That was my uh, French thank you there. Tried. The only downside I say with GT3 cars when it comes to racing is on a lot of circuits. World car behind us is a bit aggressive. There. I'm going to leave space on the inside for this car rejoining. Um, it can be hard to get overtakes. As, like the, the relative speed difference going into corners on the braking can make it hard to overtake. Whoa, a bit of an accident there coming into T1. Whereas when you've got something like a Radical or a Formula car, you've got more opportunity for people to lock up and what have you. And, and you know, the relative speeds are quite different, so you get opportunities to overtake, whereas in GT3, you can end up with more of a convoy. I'm sorry, dude. I'm understeering. I've, I've lifted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Whoa, Cub Army's rocketing. Uh, Peter Parsick, sorry for that knock. I mean, I was driving my line. I don't think I did anything wrong. Uh, you know. But I'm sorry for hitting him anyway. Good racing so far, guys. This is nice. Better racing in this than we've had in our racing. Our racing was a bit pants today. I mean, our racing can be really good, but you, you know, you pay that money for our racing, you kind of get an expectation that you want something really good for that money. And you can, if you if you rank your car up and you drive at peak times and you pick the series cleverly, so you, like the Skip Barber can be particularly good. And there, you know, there are good series in our racing. I think the GT, the GT series in our racing can be quite good at times. Uh, the Porsche Cup cars and what have you. But, you know, other times, if you're not, if you don't pick the right thing, you haven't ranked your car up that high. It's like you're paying all that money. You really might as well just do something like sim racing system and save your money. Oh, he's trying to get past us here. Tap on the door. Nice driving there. Nice overtake by Peter Parsick there. Nice and patient. Took his time. You know, we, we sort of knocked him off the track on Eau Rouge, but he didn't punt us back. It was really nice of him. Maybe we can get back on him now. We've got a bit of draft here. I'm going to lift because I don't want to understeer off into him. <laughs> nice driving. I don't know where the break point is with this. Hi, Ryan Weir. Welcome to the channel. Whoa, someone's lost down the throttle there. Good day, mate. Hi, hi Hash. I was tired a minute ago. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm ebbs and flows. We get uh, occasionally we get good conversations going in chat, and then it's all it's all good. Yeah, F1's really hard in simulators, though, BRT. That's the thing. It, it, F1 exaggerates all the issues that driving simulators have with the uh, suspension problems, tyre models over the limit, uh, net code. <laughs> F1 is like a, it's just a disaster for driving simulators. And then, obviously, inherently, it magnifies skill differences between drivers <laughs> it's the ultimate combo of the worst possible thing to to try and race online in a simulator collision meshes as well damage model it breaks everything f1 what do you mean we we're all noobs once i'm still a noob <laughs> once a noob always a noob the Morphe is woken. Hello, Morphe. Didn't even notice that you'd gone. This is quite a chilled out spa session. I feel like I'm playing Euro Truck Sim again. Look at this car. The cars in front of us, they're just like a long train of them. Still going. This car actually might not be too bad. It, it was just a brand's hatch. So maybe this car's, although it's obviously not the most exciting, Maybe on the more drawn out Formula One type calendar circuits, because of the drafting, you kind of get that oval effect from racing it. So maybe it's quite good in this scenario.
Yeah, it's a, it's a hard one with the GT3. I think, uh, you know, it's nice and it might... Because at the end of the day, what you want is people to be able to... More people to be able to race. And there's not that many people sim racing. And I think maybe if, if with ACC, if it is as popular as AC, I think most people that have got AC would buy ACC. You have a car that's moderately easy to drive, that's proven popular because of all, you know, bloody Assetto Corsa lobbies, public lobbies, half of them are GT3 at Spa. So you've got, the, if you have the matchmaking there, ranking, popular car, and there's a big pool of people, you've got stats tracking, you know, it could prove to be really popular and that could generate really good racing. And I'm sure people still, you know, you still go to iRacing or whatever other simulator, maybe GT, GTR, uh, yeah, GTR 3 or whatever for other cars. But it'd be quite nice to be like, well, having a solid simulator for one specific type of car. Speed Force Sim Racer, yeah. Um, I, the, the solution to that is not pushing on the brakes too hard. And uh, you can set the brake bias forwards. But on, it seems on this circuit, because it's such a high-speed circuit, it's not been a problem. But, yeah, I definitely found that on uh, Brands Hatch. Because it was hard to get the car to turn in, so we put the brake bias further back. And as a result, the uh, car would lock up and you get stuck in a rotation. <laughs> but it's been all right here, actually. Just chilled out driving. It's quite nice. Still, <laughs> these cars are rubbish. Well, that's, uh, that's certainly uh, <laughs> that's fair enough to say. Look at these. We've got three, four cars all going into the corner in front. That's going to end up in tears, surely. We're at halfway through the race here. I think we can get some more places. Yeah, the console version of AC is nowhere near as good as the PC version. You just don't you don't have the mods, you don't have um, sim racing system, and uh, the interface is quite nice, but it, it just doesn't really work as a console game. I've I've got it on the PlayStation Four. I'm I'm trying hash, I'm trying. We're working it. Don't worry. I'm pretty good into this corner. I'm about to crash now, I've said that. We'll get back on there, don't worry. Uh, I don't know. I don't know Speed Force. Oh dear, two cars have just made love to each other. We'll take that. Let's get on up there, guys. Come on, top 10. Is there better racing on AC in Project Cars 2? On Sim Racing System, there is. And for your average public race. Well, your average public race, uh, no, because you've got the ranking block thing in Project Cars 2. But Sim Racing System, the race is better. But on Project Cars 2, if you're in like one of my lobbies, then the racing is pretty much the same sort of thing. Oh, we've got to speed through that. Whoa, door to door action. Joe's Luis Lima. I think he's a Portuguese guy here. Try not to take him out. It'd be embarrassing. Got another car behind us as well. Milo Linford. See me punted. Yeah, we've had, of course we have punts, but you're doing sim racing system as well. I mean, so I'm at the front when we're driving cars that are conducive to good lobby racing. We tend to be, it tends to be all right. I say it often depends on the car. Same in AC. Minor rating helps a lot with AC.
Be careful of the car on the inside here. There we go. Moving up, guys. Kim must have deserved to be punted. Pretty much. I, I take it, though. I take, I, I take a good punting. Let's face it, sometimes you just need a good winkle, don't you? Door to door. Simracing System's free, yeah. Just sign up for it on the website, simracingsystem.com. You have to use a real name. This is going to be interesting. Oh, he backed out of it. <laughs> I lifted just in case he didn't. Oh dear, sorry guys. Oh! Bit of a shortcut there. Oh, we're in the top 10. Well, we're 10th place. We're moving up. We're getting better at this. Six minutes left. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Bless you, my child. Whoa, he's looking. Chris Bow is looking for a way through here. He's probably going to find our bumper. The tyre skid sound of this car sounds like the GT Sport tyres. Just realised. I don't know, uh, Hash. I don't know. It's only 10.30. Keep going. Well, that's the thing, uh, more 7 im 3 r Let's block off the door on the inside here. Sorry, dude, behind me. Bit of a defensive block there. It's got to be done. Right, let's try and be late on brakes, but not too late. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thanks, dude. Thanks for the punt, man. <laughs> that was good. Oh, we've got over 100 viewers. Hello. <laughs> this guy let us go past. I think Chris Ball felt, felt guilty about smashing me off the circuit there. He didn't do it on purpose. He probably just locked up. It happens. <laughs> it's car up the arse. Oh, he's put... Um, it's probably because we reset the stream, so those of you that liked it previously, you can now like it again because it's a new stream. So, uh, yeah, click the like button if you haven't. Get those two calories of exercise. We didn't lose too many places from that, but we lost our chance to get a top nine. Uh, well, yeah, that's one way to get more likes. I like to change the stream when, we ch when we're changing games because uh, you get people joining because they see it in the, in the you know, when someone's looking at AC videos, they see this come up as a related video or if they're playing iRacing on Project Cars 2. So people get annoyed if you streaming and it's listed as the wrong game. But YouTube doesn't change it on the fly without messing it up. So you kind of you have to redo the stream, which is annoying, but it's just how it is. Hey, Falsario. Mm -hmm. 
Supermarket stream, three streams for the price of one. So we've got one more lap here left here. So we go drive into me again. Let's see if he hits us a second time. Oh no, he's lit he's lit where the break point is now. <laughs> Poor Chris Bow. I think he feels a bit guilty for murdering us. It's weird Speed Force uh, Sim Racer. I don't tend to have problems with OBS crashing, but I do have on a separate PC, mind you. And I, I don't update the latest version in, until like a few weeks after it's come out. I don't know what the next race is on here. We'll have to find out. Stuart, he's on about OBS, the uh, recording software. Not the wheel. Come on. Tile marks all over the road. I guess I'm never going to drive for T2, thanks. <laughs> you really promote the safest of driving. Is, that, is this sarcasm? <laughs> Stuart. It's all right. We're, we're all getting a bit tired and a bit confused. Words, how do they work? These letters. Apparently, if you use different letters, they mean different things. I don't, I don't understand it myself. Ah, oh, chronic understeer. Just thought I'd take myself out there. Just stoned. Fair enough. I feel like a London taxi driver. That's it. Well, we'll take 12th place, that's fine. No rolling of this car, it's too flat. Whoa! Hairy mode. <laughs> oh, God! Dying. What's the next race? Let's have a look. Hi, uh, Bravo Chimp. Welcome back. Oh, we didn't come last. We're like halfway in the field. It's not too bad. I th that wasn't a terrible race. Apart from we got titwinkled. Oh, bloody hell. I can't, I can't cope with this Alfa Romeo. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, was it you that punted me off CB? You bloody bugger. That's okay. I thought it was an accident. It looked like a lockup. You know, I'll get the ni nipple clamps out. What? What? What do you want me to go to, Wabbit? Oh yeah, the Jeep. You wanted me to drive this car. Bloody hell. What circuit is that? I said Bloody Bridge Hampton as well. I don't know if I can take it. Got 90s DTM after. I need a banana. I'm absolutely dying. Ugh. 
Last time they allowed someone to complete the full 24 hours of Le Mans alone, 84 people died. <laughs> Uh, we can do this Alfa Romeo race. Might as well. Time for some cuphead. I just need a banana or something. Oh dear. Passing out here. Yeah, we'll do this. Promised Wabbit we'd do it, so we'll do it. Uh, no brakes allowed. All in. Time for some uh, train simulator. <laughs> now we got this. Uh, which car are we going for? It? Oh, we go for this black one with the yellow stripe. That looks that looks racy. Not the Alpha. It's Random Corsair's favourite car. Is that CB? Isn't it Chris Bow? Crick 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 Chris Bow. Chris Bow. Chris Bow in the house. Chris Bow. CB, you want to know how I felt? What when you uh, took me out in the last race? Just as your car drove into the back of me, everything slowed down, and and this is what played. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I hope you're happy, CB. <coughs> what if I told you I let you tit winkle me to make you feel better about your driving style? Oh dear. Everyone should have a soundboard. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Hello, darkness. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, that's how we're feeling deep down. <laughs> DJ Muscle. Hello, darkness, my old friend. It's the, <laughs> the remix of the, uh, the song there. You might not have heard it before. Right, it's not over yet, guys. Still got more laps to do. Oh, seven drivers registered. I'm gonna need a I need a banana, some water. Banana and some water, we're good. No, we need to I need to still get the uh, Murray Walker there. Hi Eru94. It's alright, on that day I won't know, so it's fine. Tim it's Westwood remix. I need some gunshot sound effects. Let's have a little quick look at this over here. Do, 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 do. I could do with getting a traffic cone, you're right. We just got, I'm going pure defaults for this setup. Uh, 
Oh, he's watering. That's the, <laughs> the one downside with these fans when you leave them on and blown in your face. Yeah, Bridge Bridge Hampson's uh it's a it's a free mod track. Oh dear Right, I'm gonna get some water and a banana. I'll be back in a second, guys. Ugh. Then we've got another race.
Hello. Stiff in loose tea. What's going on? Oh. Oh, doofer with the with the jokes. Doofer with the bants. Duck. Hide. Hey, uh, Sam CP, 2003. His name even rhymes. Why can't we join? Well, CB, you need to go on and get with your work. I think we've got to wait for three minutes. Here we go. I have never driven this car before, so let's find out how it drives. Skins are ready. Skins are ready. Oh, bloody hell. What's we'll back's a bit stiff on this one? Let's turn it down. I like driving trampolines. Lower the car. Okay. I do what you say. Tell me what to do with the car here. Tell me what to do, tradesman. I'm looking for some tradesman tips. Just tell me, tell me what to put on it. On, on what height? What am I changing? Video games are the path to Satan. Thanks, Jesus. Ah, oh, 
Sorry, Redacted. I'm skeptical of everything. I don't even, uh, I don't even know anymore. I'm struggling to drive. <laughs> Traffic cone. Hey, uh, Janelle. Welcome back. Benjamin, yes. Sands, no. Oh, here we go. Qualifying. We got this? Probably not. But we'll try our hardest. <laughs> get the sound of GT3 engines out of your head. You need a you need a screwdriver, power drill through the uh, through the head. Hello, uh, filling account. Oh, I could do with a hot dog, that'd be nice. took him out. Mm. 
you'll get him next time. Oh dear. Hi Rhino's race room. Hope you're you good. Going, I'm trying. I don't think so, Rhino's race room. Oh dear. It's a good track, yeah. I think the record is like four or five days, which is insane. I wouldn't ever attempt to do that. Uh, yeah, AC is less forgiving than Project Cars 2. It is a recoverable slip from, with most cars, not all cars. You can still learn how to drive AC though to a point where it's fairly forgiving. I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> 150 hours, yeah, that's not happening. Sixth, come on. Seventh. Of course. Stiffen it a bit. It's too late now. I I've got used to how this handles, so I'll keep it the same.
Oh, that's not good. The car sounds pretty awesome. The external sounds of this. This is a this is a mod car, isn't it? It's not one built in the game. Do you think we can fly? Oh, no. No, we can't fly. We tried. <laughs> You're not excited and sarcastic. Oh, dear. What? We're, we're dead. Who else is in the server? Let's have a look at the times. Bloody hell. 52-3, which is pretty mental. <laughs> Marinus 90, welcome back. This is a bit of a handful, this car. Quality content. That's probably sarcasm there. One click stiffer. There we go. Oh dear. Oh, thank you, Marinus. Appreciate it. Let's get ready for a race here. If we can keep the car on the track, I'm happy. I don't think we will be able to. Oh, how much fuel do we need for 20 minutes? No, oh, I don't know. I'm drinking coffee. We, we're good. Oh dear. Here we go. Oh, bloody hell, almost did the engine in there. Bit tight. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Thanks, guys. JJ FPV, hello. It's called People Can't Drive in a Straight Line Simulator. There's a guy in a tree.
<laughs> this car is a bit is a bit of a wonder, isn't it? Hey VR Racer, welcome back. We need some techno music, guys. Oh, someone's building sandcastles, don't blame them. Carl Pilkington's a legend. Did you hear his story about him having hot water bottles in his car in case he needs to go to the toilet so he can, he, so he can pee in it? Because the hot water bottle's got the lip on it so, uh, so you don't accidentally have a spillage. If you guys haven't watched the Carl Pilkington Idiot Abroad series, it's really good. Oh, so the moaning of life is even better, actually. Absolutely amazing. Moaning of life's a really good program. Because the thing is, Carl Pilkington's mental, but some of the stuff he comes up with is is like 100% true. Total genius. But at the same time, he's totally mental. Yeah, some food might be nice, but I, I haven't got any food left. <laughs> I haven't got anything. I'd have to cook something. I don't really want to cook anything. So, that's not happening. I could have an apple. I've got bananas and apples. Uh, that's it. Everything else is... Uh, oh, I've got frozen fish and... <laughs> frozen fish. Uh, and rice. But yeah, it's all stuff I'd have to cook. Because I've made a point of not buying unhealthy food. Which is great, because you don't have unhealthy food to eat. But it also means you have to cook. Which is, you know... So this has its downsides. We're catching. What did you eat for dinner? A small child. I don't know. How how does it make these guys feel that getting beaten by someone that's suffering from uh, sleep deprivation? <laughs> Cooking sucks. Cooking's all right. I don't, I don't mind cooking. It's just uh, generally you have to be awake to cook. So I've got lots of uh, sauces. That's all you need, really, because I can't be bothered to make sauces. So I'll buy uh, like curry sauce and what have you. Not the not the uh, like you still have to put stuff in them. They're not completely pre-done, but it saves you a lot of time. I've already had beans on toast, Rhino's Rose Room. That's what I had uh, earlier. Can't have the same thing twice. <laughs> Chris... Chris Rende! Merci beaucoup. A takeaway fund. <laughs> I don't think there's any takeaways open. But uh, thanks for supporting us, man. Not at this time. Takeaways open at like 6pm in the UK. Where I am, anyway. Trottle, trottle, trottle. Contribute to the GM takeaway fund. <laughs> thanks so much, man, for donating, though. Really appreciate that. <laughs> He's gone bankrupt through donating to us tonight. I'll do a cooking stream. I'll do a cooking stream, guys. As part of the 40,000 subscriber celebration, we'll cook, um, we can cook like steak because it takes no skill and it tastes amazing whilst doing a Lego model. <laughs> so, thanks for that. I'll buy some steak with that money, Chris. 
some ribeye steak and I'll have uh, steak and potato wedges so thank you I'll treat myself really appreciate the support though and everyone else has donated and uh, just been in chat and what have you this evening it's really appreciate it this car's alright if you sort of chill out with it if you try and overdrive it it gets mental but if you just sort of go with it hey Larry B The Australians. I don't. I don't even know what's happened to the Australians. <laughs> Paul Keeble. This is uh, what's the name? Is it Bridgehampton? It's like a crazy track in. Uh, it's like poverty Zandvoort, but it's a good circuit. I don't think it exists anymore. I think it was demolished. It's quite a fun track with these kind of cars. Oh God, don't drive into me, dude. Go past me, because I can't even, I can barely keep the car on the road. Oh no. Come on, guys. Chill out. Oh dear, we've got three guys. Favourite food besides stacks? It depends. Uh, I like lots of different food. Uh, steak. Uh, curry. All the different types of curry. Boona. I like Boona based curries. Uh, yeah, loads of stuff. I don't really have a single particular thing. Quite like nachos. <laughs> Cheese on them. Um, I eat a lot of rice. <laughs> Pasta. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I do anything really. Like roast dinners. <laughs> to be honest, when I'm hungry, any food is is good. Hey, Fest Fox. Hope you're good. Mac and I've never had mac and cheese. Stuart. Not once have I had mac and cheese. Not once. Oh! Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. I didn't mean to do that. Couldn't avoid you. Three, oh, two, Vipron one, NZ. Go. Jesus, thank you. One NZ dollar for every hour streamed. What an effort from the young man. <laughs> from, the, from the young man. That's appreciated. I appreciate the donation, but I appreciate the uh, young man comment. <laughs> Some of, maybe not so young, but, uh, you know, thank you. Thanks for the support, dude. The young man. Young man? You naughty young man. I'll, I'll make. I'll get mac and cheese, or I'll make some. Uh, no, Chris Wilson. We've just been going all through the night, all through the morning. It's been all right, actually. Well, to be to be to be honest, we've had some uh, we've had some fun with the chat. People have been friendly. We've had some had some bad races. Had some good races. Had some funny moments in eye racing on the ovals. 500 meter drifts it's pretty good can't complain really uh, will the GTX 1060 support oh a set of Corsa yeah in, uh, on a single screen easily yeah you can run AC on a potato uh, it's, it's one of the really good things with a set of Corsa run on an absolute bag of crap computer but a 1060 is not even that bad to be honest hey Chris Wilson yeah AC is probably the best simulator for, for slower computers like the the quality to performance 
of Assetto Corsa is really quite amazing. Antoine Jacket Potatoes back in the house. Hey, Antoine. The legend of the potato. One of my favourite guys to race against. We've got a Antoine and Bern Hebelson. I have to say, the two guys. Always have good racing with them. Sexy dudes. Not as good looking as uh, Random Course I know, but, you know, in terms of racecraft, sexy racecraft, right there. Antoine's a boss. Whereabouts uh, are you, Antoine, in uh, in France? We should go go-karting. <laughs> I, I think Bern Hebelson's in Germany. We need to, like, uh, arrange a, a tri-factor meet-up. <laughs> Real world on-the-limit driving. That'd be awesome. Uh, meet, we should meet, meet up in Spain, where it's, like, five pounds to drive mental go-karts for half an hour. Don't meet up in the UK. We'll, we'll all be bankrupt within half a lap. Toulouse. Nice. That's true, Fez Fox. Oh, Ben Hebelson's in chat. There he is. Secretly watching. <laughs> Are you in Austria? I thought you were in um, Germany. Buongiorno. But why did I think you were in Germany? I don't know. Sorry about that. Daniel Merchant lives in France. Uh, let's, all, let's, let's all meet up in Spain, guys, and go go karting. Well, as I say, when I was um, when I went to uh, Porridge, Porridge. I don't know how you say it in. Uh, is it po Porek or Porridge? I don't know how they say it in Croatia. But when I went there, there's a go kart track in uh, Pula, and it was it's really cheap. It's like 15, 20 quid or something for half an hour in pretty decent go-karts so we should all get a flight to Croatia for like 30 pounds and uh, just go go-karting for a week <laughs> at a, a Pula go-kart track uh, I don't know uh, my field of view of bliss I've just got the uh, dash cam on The dash view, so I, I don't know what the field of view is. It's not the right field of view. <laughs> but, you know. Oh, game hard in the chat. Top of the morning. Hey, Game Hard. By the way, guys, Game Hard, um, he does uh, YouTube videos, uh, virtual reality YouTube videos. So if you like VR, check out Game Hard's channel. Give him a little tootle. The guy's a, he's a nice guy. He's another nice guy. This is the problem with all these YouTubers. They're all bloody nice guys. What I say is, sod all these YouTubers that are nice guys. It's, it's hard to stand out as a good person when everyone's bloody nice on YouTube. That's the... So... So what I'm saying is, try and uh, entice a negative reaction from him. <laughs> so so it makes me look better, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, check out his channel. He's, uh, he's pretty funny as well. He's a, he's a bit of a character. You're still doing videos game hard, aren't you? I assume. VR videos. Oh, totally missed this. <laughs> I'm barely conscious. But we're going, guys. We're going. I'm struggling to even see the road here. A lot of my summer... Exactly, there you go. That explains how mental game hard is. I hope Project Cars 2 DLC and ACC EA is the same month. I hope, I want Project Cars 3 now. I'm, I need more Project Cars. Uh, I want I want more. Um, I want Project Cars 2 with ranked matchmaking. I want them to announce it at the same time as ACC because it'd be absolutely hilarious. Ranked matchmaking for everyone.
with a 10.6 to a 16 to support VR. Um, yeah, it should do, but I mean, it depends. What What do you mean by like um, VR? If If you're talking about Ocu like your average Oculus Rift HTC Vive VR game, yes, easily, because they the developers want the games to be played by lots of people. When it comes to driving simulators, really, you want like a 1070. <laughs> you sound drunk. That's a, that's just sleep deprivation. They do say uh, being sleep deprived is worse than like five pints of beer. Your speech slurs. You drive with one hand. <laughs> Pretty much. That's what happens. This is the Aust it's, it's blame Australia, guys. This is effectively turned into drunk driving simulator, but without any alcohol. I'm still healing towing though, so you know that, we've got that. Just watch out for any people crossing the road. It's their fault for getting on the track, though. To be honest, it's like Group B rally spectators. They deserve to be hit by a car. I <laughs> started to micro sleep standing up. Yeah, the longest I've ever stayed up for was about three days, and I started uh, I started hallucinating really bad. So I don't really ever want to do that again. I I basically started going mental, <laughs> hearing sounds, seeing stuff moving. Uh, I couldn't think properly. I was feeling stuff that wasn't happening. Really not a good idea. to drinking five pots of pots of beer what's a pot of beer is this is this an american thing i'm not or an australian thing i'm not aware of well you have a pot of beer boys it's like a shoey but with a with a pot an urn of beer it's like a men that will never recovered pretty much sums it up Hey, R Factor 2 down under the series, online motorsport series. What? Is that your name? Is that, is that what your mother called you? Sheila, what shall we call our boy? I don't know. That's how your mum sounds. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe we should call our boy R Factor 2 down under series, online motorsport series. Oh, Sheila. You have a way with words. I, this is the worst Australian <laughs> accent I've ever tried. And that and so it, that's what it was called. Australians, uh, that you know, they like to name their kids unique titles. Oh, no, we're going to lose 11th place. No. No. Oh, no. Something's a back mark. Oh, no, it's first place guy lapping us. It's fine. <laughs> the back of the car is so low compared to the front. What's a man's name in Australia? Really cliche man's name. I don't know. Oh, hello, Nicky boy. Thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the uh, the Clan of Muscle. It's not the KKK. Don't worry. It's the it's the Clan of Muscle. We accept everyone here. But when you use the word clan, it sounds like you're being racist. Thanks to the KKK ruining the, uh, the perception of the word clan. Bloody KKK ruining everything. They are pretty good, Larry B. Oh, oh, I'm losing my voice. There you go. 14 hours of talking, and we can no longer talk. Hey, Fez Fox. Seven. <laughs> Rubber stings in as well. Oh, we're done. Let's roll it. Oh, it doesn't roll. Oh, no. Oh, it's not a roller. Oh, dear. Oh, I've got cramp in my foot again. Das ist nicht gut. Nein. 
Well, we didn't come last. Uh, next stream is Holland, I think. Nederland. Love a bit of the Dutch. Hi, Martin Van... Martijn Van G G Gammerman. I know, Fez. It's all right. I keep saying hello to you. Well, I'll be dreaming tonight or tomorrow whenever we get to sleep. And I'll be just going, hello, Fez. <laughs> hello, Fez. Hello, Fez Fox. We, we finished this. Come on, simulation system. 90s DTM boys. Yeah. Let's go for it. Mercedes Benz is the fastest, I believe. Blue is the best color. Let's do it. Hi, Izzy. Welcome back. <laughs> when we'll get... I hope I don't die. Not, not right now. I'd rather not. Find out live on stream in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. It'd be a bit disappointing to die now. I mean, who would I give my sim rig to? I'd have to. Uh, I could raffle it off. Could uh, we could put it? We could do have a sim rig raffle. You could, whoever comes to my funeral gets a chance to win the sim rig. That'd be good. My my family would be like, who are all these bloody weird people <laughs> from around the world? And why have they turned up? And why is everyone buying raffle tickets for a sim rig? What's going on? Don't try and do Aussie again, muscle. I've got more bloody shifter driving with this. Just give me a pair of attorney. <laughs> CB's, CB's like, oh, goody, I've got a direct drive wheel now. I think the rig might survive the cremation. It'll just all be melted. I'll be like, I'll be like melted into the direct drive wheel. <laughs> They'll find me in 2,000 years' time, amalgamated with the wheel. <laughs> Here we see a body we discovered from a ritualistic burial where in 2018 people were commonly buried with pieces of metal and magnets in a what appears to be some kind of mode of transport but they had yet to invent wheels because this transport has no wheels apart from the one that he's melded to time team dig up game of muscle the uh, the uh, 4022 time team uh, theme tune will go like this They get really avant-garde with music in the future because people get bored of uh, traditional music patterns. A good volcanic eruption and gamer will be found in his rig. They'll, they'll do that plaster mould of me, won't they? I'll be on the limit, counter-steering. Pompeii muscle. Well, we've got 18 minutes here to chill out. Thanks for liking the stream, those of you that have clicked it. I've seen that we've got some likes. Thank you very much, guys. Graham, hello. If I said, I think I've said hello to you. You were talking about Time Team. I don't know what's going on anymore. But hello anyway. Fez Fox is off. <laughs> Catch you. Catch you around, Fez. Oh, we've got another Australian in the room. Let's big up the Australians. Rubber, rubber Aussie. Whoops. Rubber Aussie. Aussie number 32, but 31, because Emily Jones is uh, in her own category. Whoops, that's not... That's how we go. Nice one, Fez. I'm not sure if I will be. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. A it's like uh, 8 p.m. in in Australia. Oi, oi, oi! Yo, yo, yo! Australia represent. Why aren't the Australians in the sim racing system? You know, 
do I dedicate this stream to Australians and they're just there we go one Craig Spitari Oliver Heyer Paul Batty and Justin Talent from the chat room got a couple of Aussies in here can't really complain Uh, Daniel Merchant it's a, it's a mod for Assetto Corsa that sort of has it's like a ranking multiplayer system for Assetto Corsa like iRacing but free you're from Holland but you live in Belgium well you can stand between both the streams Martijn van German Owen van der Boer is in the chat. Filthy ledge man. Another filthy Euro trash boy. Welcome. Strayer. Australia. Strayer. Strayer. Anderson Shawmy, hello again. Craig Spitari. Strayer Kent. Blair Walton. Mark Lay, first from Singapore. Good job. He's off to walk the dog. All right, Stuart. Thanks for sticking around and uh, hope you had an all right time. Don't let the dog drag you off into a train. You know, that happens occasionally. May your dog drag you towards attractive ladies that are also with dogs. And uh, may your times be jolly. Ooh. Never ending stream. <laughs> da, 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 da. I need some golden gay time to keep me going. I don't know, like thirteen hours or so, Erwin. Maybe fourteen. I'm accepting donations for Golden Gay Times. I've never seen them in the UK. I only found out about them early this morning. My life has been forever changed. I'm, I'm drinking coffee at the moment. All right, Rhino's Race Room, I'll try not to. Good, 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 Golden Gay Time. <coughs> could do a Golden Gay Time remix. Hello, Abigail. <laughs> I'm good. Welcome along. Guys, Abigail has got an awesome YouTube channel. It's mostly in German. So, you know, if you don't speak German, then uh, you might not understand it. But it doesn't matter because German sounds awesome. And Abigail is awesome. So check out his channel. Click his name. Subscribe to him. Give him some love. He's a beast. A beast in a car. Beast with the German commentary. It sounds like... It sounds like... Um, Sounds like one of those uh, Eurosport channels when I watch Abu Gafarin. I feel like I'm on holiday when I tune into him. So, you know, if you're not on holiday, you're at work and you're like, Jesus Christ, this office is really terrible and you've, you're thinking of killing yourself by jumping out the window or murdering the person sat next to you. Instead of doing that, go to Abu Gafarin's channel and pretend that you're on holiday in Germany. Whoa, what a pro tip. I know, you can thank me later, but also thank Abu Gafarin. <laughs> You can thank me by clicking the like button, actually, guys. Like button reminder. Welcome to YouTube, where everyone has to tell you to click the like button, subscribe, and all that crap <laughs> every single five minutes. We've got 12 minutes until this uh, race starts. I know Larry B, but uh, sometimes... Desperate times call for desperate measures. What are you up to, uh, Abigafarani? Why do you reckon the two people downvoted? Uh, that you know, some people just don't like. I was probably saying something negative about eye racing. It's normally what it is. Bluey, whereabouts in Devon are you?
I hope you're not texting and driving, you naughty, naughty boy. Two Tories. Oh, dear. I voted for Lord Buckethead. or well, I would do if I was in this constituency. All hail Lord Buckethead. Anonymous. Hello. No sense of humour. I'm having a lunch break and was wondering that you were streaming at this ungodly hour. Thanks for subscribing, Anonymous, though. Appreciate that. We've got more more Aussies. Oh, Jesus Christ. Add in the Aussies. Four more Aussies. 35. 34. 35. Good job, Aussies. Plus Emily Jones and their traffic cones. Set of course at Aussie Down Under series. Yet again, another Sheila giving birth to a child. Struth, we haven't thought of a name to call our child, she said in a strangely British accent that sounded like a bold man then talking as a woman. Oh, let's call let's call our son Aussie Down Under series. Oh, you know Sheila, that's a good name for a child, and so so he was called. So it was written. So it was told. I don't know. It was rude to hit a traffic cones. Emily Jones likes her traffic cones to be hit, I'll have you know, Ovac. <laughs> People pay good money to hit Emily Jones' traffic cones. Struth, Ruth. Struth, Ruth. Ref oh, refresh. Refresh what? What am I refreshing? First sub. We are waiting for the golden gay time to commence. You can get golden gay time crumbs as well. Who in chat has had a golden gay time? Have we, can, can we have some people that can confirm they've had a golden gay time? <laughs> oh dear. We were talking about the ice cream, yes. Nope, nope, we are racer. Broshy's in as well. Filthy reg. Euro trash regs in the channel. Welcome back. It has been a rather gay stream. Come on, Nimilla. Guys, anyone can join this if you've got some racing system. Get on in. It's filling up here. That's nice. Good number of people for a nice clean race for sure. 35 people. What's my rating uh, on uh, some racing system? I don't know. Where am I? Oh, I'm here. 645. So I've gone down gradually. The more I race, the worse I get. Oh, well. Oh, 
Oh, can you pick me one up, Craig? <laughs> can you grab me a gay time from the store? I've always wondered where I could buy a gay time from. I hear, uh, I hear there's places near Leicester Square in London where you can buy a good gay time. We're waiting for this uh, DTM to start, Mr. Reset of course, are down under. Trust Australians to know how to have a good golden gay time. The British have forgotten how to have uh, golden gay times. They used to, they used to be able to do it, but not not anymore. A poor night looking for, not just any gay time, looking for a golden gay time. Ah, oh, go, a golden gay time with nuts. That's that's perfect. The closest we have to a gay time is feast. I don't know, Redacted. Oh dear, the innuendos are non-stop on this, on this uh, stream, thanks to the Australians. And their masterful naming of ice creams. I, I don't think I've seen a sandwich shaped ice cream, no. We've been, we've been destroyed. I wonder who started it all. Australia. It's always Australia's fault. Can we race? Nope, we've got to wait a minute. 35 cars registered, that's pretty good. More people playing this than I racing with race cars on the circuits. At least last time we checked. All right, VR Racer, thanks for popping in. Hope your work's all right and not too hard. We're getting there, Sheps. We're getting there. <laughs> I'm slowly turning into Stephen Hawkins. Slowly but surely, it's happening. Shite chocolate? Oh, I need some of that. Can we go? <gasps> I like the DTM, 90 DTMs, uh, that's where it's at. I was born to 90s DTM. It's a perfect car to drive after being awake for a long time, for sure. Nice chilled out, relaxing, no concentration required drive. Error Rotten is a machine. Oh yeah, the Alpha is the fastest one, isn't it? I've gone for the Mercedes like an idiot. Oh well. I do like 90s DTM. I do think they're some of the best cars. Woo!
I know I forgot Vipron NZ. But oh well. Three sixty no scope. Just warming up the wheels. So right, we're warming things up, Broshy. Oh, that's a good point. Why don't we... Oh, there it is. Don't know why it disappears on some cars in AC when, you, when you've had it on before. I think I stick with this view. Four exhaust pipe alpha. Ridiculous. The chat room's gone quiet. Too much excitement, I have to say. Nice ETM. It's passed everyone out. <laughs> the end. This is the end. Beautiful friend. The end. How did you kill your user base? Well, we streamed for 16 hours straight and then everyone just gave up on their lives. Oh, okay. It was after 16 hours of straight streaming that the subscribers realised they no longer wanted to take part in the channel. No, Yasin. No, Yasin. Don't be silly. All in. All in Australian super stream. Preemptive. Preemptive super long stream mass suicide. What was that? What was that mass suicide with the uh, with the drinks in the in the nineties or was it in the eighties? That's, that's what this is. Or oh, Heaven's Gate, <laughs> Heaven's Gate Muscle Club. Remarkable. I didn't show why you sounded like a, uh, a scientist then. Remarkable. In my head, at least. Hello, Henrique and Darcy. Get some avocados. We haven't got any here, I'm afraid. 70s Kool-Aid. Oh, it was in the 70s, wasn't it? What was it called? J was it the Jamestown Massacre? I don't know. I was getting mixed up. Hey, Mad. Yep, still going. Impressive or sad? Who, do, who knows? Jim Jones. I'm, I'm, I'm more with the Heaven Gate suicide people, you know. That Jamestown thing is mental. There's a tape recording, and then they were forcing the, uh, they were forcing the parents to kill the kids. That's absolutely insane. 
Bloody mental. Here we go. Let's get our quali in. Let's take some fuel out. Let's smash some laps. Let's get like eight laps of fuel, I think. Hello, Andrew Rogers, as well. Quite like this one handed driving technique, it's definitely it's definitely good for just chilled out sim racing. Why use two hands when you can just guide with one and keep your keep your shifter hand on the other on the shift knob? Yo, chili dog, sup, boy? Chili dog, back in the chat, guys. The spiciest dog on the internet. Look at that, this guy go fast, past, he's faster than us. Oh, they're all in the, all hacking with the Alpha. Can't just pick the fastest car. I don't know, Looney Juice. I, I think, uh, I was saying this earlier uh, to someone else talking about the sounds in Project Cars 2. Sound is just like a really hard thing to do and you know it's uh, it's technically hard it's hard to get the samples and then there's a big subjective element to it as well and design choices so it's always it's always a bit funky I think the technology is getting better though for this, for sound I've seen some really cool uh, tech demos or listened to some really cool tech demos for real time spatial audio that are really impressive thing is real world cars sound more kind of like trombone metallic in tune and rounded whereas in driving simulators because a lot of the uh, sound is done through pitch shifting the it loses its tone and it just doesn't have the depth and then it doesn't have the 3d spatiality because it's literally just playing back a sound file so yeah we are still going ain't no stopping this bopping Yeah, some of the demos I've heard for some of the technologies that are in the works are, are actually really, really impressive. Whoa, buggered that up. I like this car. I I totally have one of these to do my shopping in, along with the Kate Room Seven, KTM Crossbow, and the Radical SR Three. Emily Jones doesn't have uh, Project Cars Two, and uh, I'm I don't have any much content for iRacing. racing. Blown turbo. Okay, let's do a two-handed lap because I need to get a fast lap time here. Oh, welcome along, Yukov Aptable. Thank you for subscribing, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. Guten Tag, hallo, hola. Ni hao. Moshi, moshi. Um, yeah. Konnichiwa, bienvenue, salut. I can't think of any others. C 
Salam, Salam. <laughs> Dobre dan. My advanced two handed technique takes years of training. They often say when you start driving, start with one hand and then move to two once you get pro. Try and hold the grip through here. Sixth place at the moment. We can do better than this. All right, Larry B. Thanks for popping in. Have a good uh, a good time. Good afternoon. If not later, I'll catch you tomorrow. Come on. Get a good lap in here. Uh, we're qualifying Mark Lay, so hopefully in the race, we're in glorious seventh place at the moment in quality. Which isn't too bad. Easy to get confused. Quality can look like racing. There are cars on the track, and we are trying to drive fast, so, you know, easy to be bamboozled. Pretty much, Sam, Sammy, seventh place, of course. What? Okay, I need to pop to the loo before the race starts, otherwise I'm going to burst. Be back in a second, guys. Bathroom, bathroom break.
Okay. Oh, to be quick. <laughs> 20 minutes. How many laps is 20 minutes going to be? We'll put 14. No, that's going to be enough by far. Play it safe. We'll go with slick mediums. So I don't trust the softs. Game of bladder. <laughs> Don't know where we where we came to. We'll see when we get on the grid. Hey Zero Fox. Blessed seventh. go guys Jesus makes everyone happy because he's Jesus Christ right here we go fuel levels yeah well that's it we'll assume it's all good it says we're in 11th I think we've been destroyed oh well we'll make the most of it Remember to rev your car to 7,000 RPM. Six thousand. It's the RPM game. Six. You go six to four. Four to six. What? What? Here we go. There, yeah, let's not get Titwinkle, that'd be nice. Probably will do. Watch out for the guys behind us. Oh, I think I just took that guy out. I, was, I, hope I, I hope I didn't lag into him or something. I think I just titwinkled someone there. Sorry. That was weird. Not quite sure what happened there, but I think we just murdered someone. Hey, C Grilla, welcome along. Oh, look at all these cars. Back on the tail. Sorry, car behind was trying to drive into me, so I had to go wide there. Didn't mean to poke the guy on my uh, left here. Toth Thomas, sorry for that tap. Just trying to avoid the car on the left. Hey, back. Plenty of uh, coffee, and we're good. Six 
17 minutes. First lap survived for the most part. It's pretty good. Ah, oh, okay. Missed the break point touch there. Whoops a daisy. <laughs> break a little bit sooner than that, maybe. Should be able to make up this uh, gap. Car behind us is. No, we're all right. Thought he was going to go for the dive bomb. That was slow. Power of tea and coffee. And bananas. Anything's possible with bananas. As long as you've got bananas, you can have a golden gate on. Hey, Doctor 1985. Welcome along. Welcome back, I should say. Box of neutrals there. Come on, DTM car. Car in front's had a bit of a penalty, I think. Moving on up. Let's get a crackerjack result out of this. Keep pushing. DTM this beast. Kirim Usman. 0.6 seconds in front of us. I'm using my Mercedes uh, logo on the on the uh, bonnet as a as a gun turret. Oh, carnage up front! Obviously, another driver that's missed the break point. Please don't drive into me. Whoa, there he is! <laughs> Almost into us there. I was expecting this to have to drive into him side on. Dude, calm down. Kirill Rashkov. Shark attack there. Oh, God, this guy. Don't trust him. Dude, don't drive into me, man. Work the slide. Oh, that's too much. Pushing the limit there. Actually, it worked out all right. Astro Turf. A bit slippy. 3.3 seconds from Kurum Usman. Let's see if we can catch up with him. Three point seven, three point six, three point five, three point four. We got a good exit then. Off that corner. We're almost at seven. I'm getting there. I'm happy if we get PBs as well. Oh, two more cars in the grass. Nine. Bit wide. Kristen Dushler in front of us. Hey Martin Vandis, welcome back. Kyle Parker behind us, Christian Dushler in front of us. I think we can, uh, I think we can get him before the end of the race. Twelve minutes left. A 
This is good fun, Sea Gorilla. Definitely get yourself on it. Oh god, I didn't too deep there. Car in the grass there. That's uh, eighth place. Derek Siebers just took himself out. We've got Carl Parker right on the tail here though. Getting up to seventh soon. Balance the throttle out of there, quite satisfying. I've worn a hole in my socks. <laughs> you know when you've been streaming too long when you've worn a hole in your sock. Pushing that a bit wide. Getting some uh, better deltas here, better splits. Come on, DTM. We're back. Stream dead. <laughs> OBS decided to uh, have a bit of a doodle. YouTube couldn't take it. We lost a place there, thanks to OBS. RIP OBS. We out, we out streamed OBS. Oh, has he missed that? A little bit. Thank you. Bloody OBS. And we're back. I was, I was like RIP. No. Yaha tiddly D RIP. We are back. Nine minutes to go. Not a bad race so far. OBS is conspiring against us. I think we can get a seventh. But just after eight minutes, we just have to hope that OBS doesn't stop again. Kind of impacts the concentration levels. Let's try and get a PB though. Regardless of uh, getting seventh, let's try and smash some good laps out. Too wide there. Car behind us is going to be making a move. Let's watch out for Justin Talent. He was in the chat room earlier. Watcher of the stream. We'll keep the door closed. Oh dear, that's a bit of a cut. Sorry, Justin Talent. I've run out of talent. Surely he's going to make the pass. Nope, Michael Barrett. We're still going. Oh, is he <laughs> run out of talent on the break point? No, he's all right. Let's try and keep up with this boy.
Look at the wheels on the car in front. They look really cool. Just how they're painted. Rover boy, happy dinner break. Hope you're having something healthy. Stamina of a Viking. We're gonna need it when it comes to invading Australia to take off all those, uh, replace all those Vegemite tins with uh, Marmite. An important mission. Oh, someone's had an accident. It's uh, Krem Musman again. This could possibly be good for us to get our seventh. wide out of that. Dark Seaver's behind us as well. We've got to watch out for him. Whoa! Kremlisman's a bit wide on that corner. Five minutes left. Come on. We can get another place out of this. I'm pretty sure about it. As long as we don't do something stupid, which we probably will do. Driving a bit slow here. What? Too much. <laughs> too much. Oh dear. Oh. oh, we're going backwards here. Struggling to uh, get more speed out of it. Every time I try and push harder, we end up making uh, stupid mistakes. Dreams. Dreams are gone. Forget dreams. It's off to the nightmares. Place maintained. For a moment at least. Oh dear, back to leave some space there. It's been costly. We can get these two places back. Come on. Let's try and be, uh, try and drive it delicately. Two laps left. Nurse this car home. And we can do it.
Okay, maybe a bit too committed. <laughs> a touch, a touch too committed. That's that's DTM star racing. There, you got to do it. You got to go for it. <laughs> some some might say the break in there was a little bit ambitious. You could make the argument that we missed a break point there. You know, it's debatable. What? Jesus. Here's my gearbox. Hey, Chad Head. Oh, well. Dreams dreams died with that last move. It's not over yet, though. I think some people might, might have an accident. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer in case in case there is an accident and we can capitalise on it. Who knows, the front runners might give us another lap out of this race. Try and keep the car running to the finish line. Another pro tip there. I, I'll try. Can't promise anything though. Gino Gallagardi behind us. It's that proper Italian sports name. Oh, do we get one more lap here? I think we do. Shoot it until it dies. Let's see if we can finish on a PB. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not. 360 no scope. Oh dear. So much for the PB. <laughs> oh, driving simulators sometimes. Sometimes it's not been kicked in the ball repeatedly. Oh, sorry, oh, your engine blew up. What did you do? I'm so glad we went for the PB there in the first corner. We killed ourselves. Oh, well. I was <laughs> self titwinkle. I was showing off for the fans. They wanted to see the livery from all directions, so I just did a donut for them. It's important to uh, appease the sponsors. I'm sure you guys in chat have uh, done 360 no scopes in races. Personal worst. Yeah. It's a good, good plan. I'm sorry, Mad. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, 12th place isn't the worst. I think we've... Managing to finish here one lap below where we started, one place below where we started. Possibly two if we're slow out of this corner. There it is. Can we roll it? Oh, it doesn't roll. It's too stiff. Too stiff. Oh dear. Nice one, Wabbit. Oh. Yeah, there we go, guys. Good car. Shame about. Myself taking myself out repeatedly. Oh my god, we've done a full <laughs> we've done a full cycle of vehicles. Oh That's alright, Eru. I, I like incident points, they make me they build character. Some people call them incident points, I call them character points.
All right, Mark Lay. Enjoy your dinner. Have a good one. I can't believe I've got holes in my socks. I don't know. It might be bedtime. <laughs> it might be. I'm verging on uh, spontaneous unconsciousness. We need to wake ourselves up. Hang on. There we go. Refreshed. Back, back to normal. Oh, what's going on? What's going on in the land of sim racing? I don't know. How long have we been going for? Let's have a refresh of this. Oh, I don't even know anymore. I, don't, I can't even keep track. <laughs> You're awake now. Those of you that uh, that are new, I'm going to do with the Game Muscle advert. If you're new, um, tickle the subscribe button. Why not? You want more Bold Man content for sure. But uh, if not, you can click the like button. That's always good. And we've got Discord in the description. Join us on Discord for news, chatting with weird people. And uh, if you if you do races and you want to find people to race against, Discord's a good place going because we've got people that play Project Cars 2, Assetto Corsa, iRacing, pretty much everything. So you could just go in Discord and say, hello, I want to like a race. Or can you give me some pro tips? And they'll be like, yes, you need to put the potato on the sausage and you need to drive the sausage as hard as you can through the fastest corner. And you'll be like, wow, thanks for those tips. Appreciate that. Only streaming for three hours, I know. What a lightweight. OBS Switchbox has paid for itself by now. I um, Well, it's certainly because... Uh, they... Uh, what if I told you I didn't pay for it? What if I told you that, um, that, that uh, Elgato sent me the stream deck for free to review? What if I told you? Uh, what What if I told you? What if I told you? I still think it's quite good. Uh, <laughs> what if I told you that random call sign actually had plastic surgery because he was ugly, but now he's good looking after plastic surgery. Um, but what if I told you what if I told you that my favourite driving simulator was Mario Kart 8 <laughs> how did you know what if I told you that I'm not the fastest sim racer in the world it never gets old that button what are you still doing I don't know Jamie McEwen what if I told you uh, I never sleep? <laughs> what if I told you that Mario Kart 8 has better physics than I racing? You know, oh, we only that one. What if I told you? <laughs> what if I told you that uh, all the donation money goes towards biscuits and cups of tea? You know, I, I really like this button on t-shirt. <laughs> Pretty cars t-shirt. Well, you know, rep representing. We're repping the uh, P cars too. <laughs> Hair, hair implant surgery. What if I told you I shave my head and I actually normally have hair? I don't. I don't actually normally have hair. Hello, darkness, my old friend. What if I told you that random call sign is going to stream tonight? And he's going to win my race that's taking place at 8pm because I'm not going to be in it. Ah, 
Oh dear. We've got a bit on here, guys. Single racing. In case you leave the stream, quick, Gamer Muscle. Thank you for streaming all day for us Aussies. It was an awesome day all round, so thank you. That's all right. Appreciate the thank you, single racer. What if I told you that since you started this stream, I've had eight hours sleep, got ready for work, actually gone to work, and I'm now on my lunch break? Uh, and yeah, Vac, we were trolling. Oh dear. I really don't want to drive the TCR cars again. There's good 30, 30 cars registered to it, which is pretty impressive. Seems to be quite popular. 33. Yeah, guys, I, th I think it probably is a good time to end the stream. I think, um, I think we've hit the wall. Uh, I don't know. W did we start at like 10 or something yesterday? So what's that? I don't know how many hours that is. Four, oh, 50, like 15 hours. That's not bad. It's a reasonable stream. I think we could have gone a bit longer. I'm sure. I'm sorry it wasn't as in depth as uh, some of you were expecting. You know, sometimes I like to do short streams, nip them in the bud. You know how it is, guys. You just want to jump in the sim rig, do a quick race, <laughs> do a quick race. You know, you know what it's like. You, you know, I, I, I'm often like that. I, I'll be, uh, I'll be thinking, oh, what can I do? Oh, I'll just do a quick race, small stream, nip it in the bud, get it done, and uh, off we go. So, uh, I, I see you, I see you tomorrow unless I die in my sleep. That's always an option. But yeah, there you go. That this has been the the Aussie stream, guys. I'm gonna have to add all the people that have. Uh, we've had like. Two new uh, sponsors on Patreon. Um, so I'm going to add you to the list. But you'll probably have to remind me because I'll probably forget. I'll try and remember next stream. And uh, tons of donations. So really appreciate that, guys. Um, loads of subscribers. Bloody tons of subscribers. Lots of Aussie boys. We had 35 plus one Emily Jones and the Traffic Cones Australians joining, which is always nice. I don't know how many virtual Mars we've driven. It's been like desert bus. Uh, I will catch you. I will catch you all soon. Let's go. Let's go to the credits and uh, have a have a good night, everybody, or a good evening, afternoon, morning, whatever wherever you are in the world. We're off to Holland, by the way, the Netherlands. Next stream, it's going to be Hello Netherlands. Goodbye, Australia. Hello Netherlands. Take care. Goodbye.